The year is 1787, where King Louis XVI rules over France in a period of economic decline. The common people protested against the king for the tax raises, and the first and second estates protested due to the king gaining more and more power. A 5% increase in the taxes for my people in order to pay the country's debts. Excellent. Hopefully this can solve our problems without me having to pay anything. Sounds like a good plan, fellow rich person. Thank you. Oh, great. Here we go again. The rich fools are charging us poor men more, and they don't have to pay you a single cent. This old regime, social hierarchy thing has got to go out. I paid five cent for this at one point, and then the king raised it to ten cent. He has no clue what he's doing. He does not represent his people well. I agree. I think it's time, it's about time for change in this country. You know, those commoners putting together this uh, national assembly, sounds like all you fellows want to join in. Sure, mister. This is nonsense! Get out of my palace, now! We, the clergy, as well as the nobles, have been invited to join the commoners in the National Assembly, and we have accepted them. So, yeah, we're gonna get out. With pleasure. Yeah, loser. Fine, leave. <laughs> the three states meet up at a tennis court, and together made up the tennis court oath which said that all the states would fight as one until they had established a new constitution for France. ...to you as a representative of the National Assembly. Mm. I was simply wondering if you would agree to this new constitution we have written for France. Hmm, explain it to me one more time. It's actually quite simple. Your powers will be limited a little, okay? So you'll have to put up with that. It consists of the executive, remember, the legislative and the judicial branches, and you do know your power is limited, as I have said before. Well, all right. Sounds Perhaps good to me. Can I ask, yeah. why did you need your fellow kings of Europe here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I need your help. Although I agree to a new constitution, I am secretly not okay with it. I need all of you to come up with a plan to overthrow the new government and, re and return to the old regime. Got it? Should we help out, Louis? I guess so. All right. Great. Awesome. Right, I found it. I hate being king of this country. This place has turned into total chaos. I have to get out of here. Get him! Oh no, the police! <laughs> Monarchy ends as the radicals organized the commune. And the commune suspended the office of the king on August 10th, 1792. The national convention was then set up for national change. We as the National Assembly are officially going to execute the king now. Our enemies need to know we mean business. We need to increase our arrests and executions of enemy of the public. I agree. Let's go get the bad Woo! people. Let's go! So this plan was carried out for nearly a year, and it achieved a goal of protecting the revolution from its enemies. The period became known as the Reign of Terror. Fellow convention member. I, th I think we need a new constitution with some new ideas and some new morals. I, I agree. Let's allow male property owners to vote, establish an executive branch with five directors, and we shall call it the directory. Only male property owners can vote, though. I like that. That's perfect. Good. I like me. Like. So, the new constitution was made, and it governed over France for four years. However, it didn't please many people and it caused an economic downfall and paved a path towards military dictatorship. Men to the battlefield! Yes, sir! Look at Napoleon's funny little socks. <laughs> he wears really funny socks. Napoleon dressed very interestingly. He often wore skirts and jackets and his soldiers did not dress like Branded off on a small island in the coast of Italy. We see Napoleon now, struggling, as it's freezing cold. Napoleon ends up dying on this island in the year 1821. He was placed on this island as, by his enemies, so that he would never do anything bad Bye, again. Bye, my fellow Frenchman, for his military tactics and his smart ideas. He established a consulate, and 
he became the first consul of France. He believed in the ideas and the changes of the revolution and continued to support them. Besides being a great military leader, he established a new school system and the Bank of France. However, all the countries France occupied under Napoleon fought back, and although Napoleon tried, he could not defeat them. Well, that is all. We have seen the transformation of France from monarchy to republic to dictatorship and back to monarchy. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and I hope you have enjoyed learning about the French Revolution and the people and events within it. To the, get, to the kid gaining more and more power. So were the precursors for the French Revolution. Turn it off. <laughs> My fellows have been invited to join the commoners in the National Assembly and we have accepted. This is nonsense! Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> it's nonsense. But it's sort of good. Sushi. Heck no! It's turned into total chaos! I have to get out of here! Scanner! Oh no, the police! <laughs> oh my god, open the door! Open it! I'm not even kidding! Open the door! Oh! I'm so dumb. Get away from me. You guys are awful. Get away from me. I just did it in winter time and the pool is not good at We love you, Corey. Coast of no, Italy. No, that's not how you do it. You have to push me out. Oh, okay. We have to find the workers, and we shall call it right. the rectory. How about I just hold it? Because all you should take a point. Nice yeah, start. Oh, Corey Griffiths. Very smart. Okay, Very smart. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I know. We'll share. We'll share. Oh, oh, you know who else? You know who else? <laughs> Jackie Cutler. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. My my.